told you to settle my trainer? Who told you to walk on my side of the street? Who told you you could come into my neighbourhood? I had no idea. I feel rubbish. You must have proved me about you driving last night. It's the weekend, it's loud, isn't it? It was a good night. <coughs> your phone's beeping. Can you pick it up? Oh, like a personal. It's not something I'm going to tell you anyway, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, well done. Uh, he nearly had me. What do you mean? It was you. What do you mean me? It's you. It's your voice. Your voice. It's quieter and better spoken, but it is definitely you. Come here, get me. I wasn't that drunk last night. I've got a nice feeling. I know this is going to sound strange, so please just bear with me. Or you. <laughs> I'm not sure be weird. which test it is. <laughs> I am you. They died in the morning, just as dawn's first light was cast, and they died in droves, and as one. On the morning of the 21st of July, 2020, a chain of events is set in motion which leads to the annihilation of a third of life on Earth. An experiment that, unbeknown to us, would collide the time of now and 10,000 years in a single continuum. A vast tract of the Earth was instantaneously combined with its past, and neither era could survive the monumentous paradoxical collision. The land affected is now barren, a vast strip encompassing the globe from pole to pole and spreading thousands of miles in either direction. We are now effectively cut off from the rest of the world. Nothing can pass the bridge without being able to survive 10,000 years in one go. The time slice has effectively created two separate habitats, there's got to be another one. If there isn't, I'll be pretty freaked out. A vast Hadron Collider was constructed encircling the globe. It used a huge electromagnetic force of the Earth's core to catapult electrons around the globe to theoretically create a mechanism of visiting the past of any given moment in Earth's history. The exact science and technologies are lost on me, but this was its essence, to be able to change certain violent aspects of our history, to prevent wars that had engulfed humanity and its species for millennia. How exactly the extravagant scheme was to be implemented, we don't know. For as soon as the process was started, 10,000 years collided with the present, creating a paradox in which nothing could survive. Why only a strip? We'll never know. One interesting and quite beautiful side effect is that as the moon traverses the sky at night time, it becomes quickly brighter and then dimmer, and many of the pop holes appear as if by magic. It's quite beautiful. It's a joke or not. It's pretty weird. These messages are possible only because of the time slice. Finding a bandwidth to transmit these on has been a laborious process with complex metaphysics that I can even hope to understand. Whatever happens, I have imparted my knowledge with you. As I speak these words, I remember doing so. I can safely say that what has happened cease to have happened. Tell all that you can and maybe together humanity can fix what went wrong. As many of us that are left will send the same message to our past selves just as I'm doing. This will ensure sincerity in the realism as what have occurred, making sure that the event can be avoided. I wish you all the best and I can tell you that whatever you do, you will come to no harm. You have a fantastic life ahead of you. Then who am I to say? As soon as you hear this, this version of me will cease to exist. You make your own choices. You make your own mistakes. Whatever you do, be kind, be considerate and be yourself. There is little else that matters in the end. I have to go. It's up to you.